Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Tykoski of the Museum of Nature and Science here in Dallas, Texas. Right now we're standing in the fossil preparation lab for the museum. And uh, we'll just show you a little bit of what we have going on in here, some of the projects that, our, that I and the other volunteers here in the uh, lab are working on. Uh, they include specimens like this gigantic Alamosaurus neck bone here. This is a single neck bone of a huge sauropod dinosaur, uh, about 70 million years old. It was collected in Big Bend National Park in Texas. Uh, we have a number of volunteers working on this. This is a team effort, and uh, we're slowly making progress on this specimen. And we only have eight other vertebrae we need to get through, so it's only taken a few months to get this far. We'll soon be to the point we'll be able to flip this over and work on the other side. If you uh, move down across the room here a little bit, actually turn right around, we have a couple of our volunteers. <laughs> our volunteer is standing here. Uh, this is Katie. She's working on another chunk of an Alamosaurus vertebra. These things are pretty heavily broken, and uh, we can take them out in smaller chunks and have people work on them a little bit at a time. And uh, uh, that way we can speed the process along. We can uh, get several of these being worked on at once. And uh, like I said, hopefully we'll be able to finish up a little more quickly. Uh, across the room here we have another specimen. This is not an Alamosaurus. This is a, sp a specimen that was collected in uh, uh, the North Slope of Alaska in 2006. It was featured on the NOVA television show Arctic Dinosaurs where he actually showed uh, Dr. Tony Fiorello, the curator of Earth Sciences here at the museum, collecting this, strapping it under a helicopter and having the helicopter lift it away out of the North Slope and carry it off to a town where it can be flown out and driven out of Alaska. I've been working on this skull for almost four years now. And we finally have it just about completed. I'm doing some of the sculpting work on it. Uh, this will soon be ready for further research and then to be put on exhibit for everyone to see. And just to orient you here, we have, uh, this is the left eye. Here's the depression around the nose, the nostril on the left side of the skull. A large parrot-like beak would be there, a tooth row here. And this is a large battering ram type of boss on the top of the skull. And a couple of others over the eyes here. And so this was probably a pretty ugly animal, uh, about the size of a modern rhinoceros. And uh, a large plant eater, and we find remains of a lot of them on the north slope of Alaska. Uh, we also have a few other specimens from Alaska around here. These are baby and juvenile duckbill dinosaur bones that another volunteer is working on. This comes from the same place where the very first dinosaur bones were ever found in Alaska, a site called the Liscombe Bone Bed. Uh, the volunteer is taking out these b badly fragmented bones, piecing them back together, getting the dirt, dust, and everything off of them, and we'll, then we'll put them all back in this storage cradle here so that they're, uh, they're cared for and they're uh, preserved and hopefully not bumped around and rebroken by anybody at a later date. Anyway, that gives you a little bit of an idea of most of the things happening here in the lab right now. We're either working on Alaskan fossils or our Alamosaurus from Big Bend, and uh, there's no shortage of things to do here.